So hi, I am a Jess Monk. I teach drama um, at Ratcliffe College um, and I've been interested in drama from a very early age. Um, my primary school did lots of theatre um, and concerts and things like that. So I got involved there and then um, when I was at school I studied drama all the way through and I was involved in lots of groups outside of school and then I auditioned for drama schools because I wanted to be an actor. Um, but then sort of changed my mind during the audition process, I guess. Um, and I turned down a place at a drama school that said to go to a university to study drama and theatre studies because I was interested in the theory side of it and I wanted to be a director as well as an actor. And so I picked a course that allowed me to do directing as a master's as well as acting. So that's where I am. Good. Okay, so first question. Mm -hmm. um, what did you think of the brand identity? So um, the way that all the products link together. Um, I think it's really clear. I think you're, um, I like your uh, use of the black and the gold because I think that's something you see in the Oscars and you see in a lot of drama things. Um, and backstage is a great name because that describes exactly what you're doing. Um, so I think it links really well together. Okay. Um, what were your overall impressions of each of the products? I think, um, so I watched the film first, so I think the film um, was great because it really showed from different people's point of view. Um, a realistic insight into what the industry's like and it doesn't paint it as your dreams are going to be fulfilled and you can be an actor if you really want to be. Um, they all speak about how difficult it can be as well without dampening um, your spirits if you're an aspiring performer. So I thought your choice of who you interviewed was very good. I thought it was really well put together. Um, yeah. about the radio advert? Yeah, um, the radio advert was great, it gave you sound bites, didn't it, from, mm. so it gives you a taste of what you're going to see in the film. Um, yeah, it was fab. I wondered if you could have some more like um, the sound that you'd find in theatres. Mm. Backstage, it was a bit of that. Yeah. You know, certain phrases people use in theatres, perhaps, or something. Yeah. But yeah, I thought it was really great. Uh, the and the poster is fab. Um, I like that she's about to walk onto stage um, because it's not just backstages, and you might look at backstage and think, oh, lighting and sound and tech, but that makes it very clear that it's for a performer who's mm. looking to enter the industry. So I think it's very good. Good release. Um, do you feel inspired after watching the documentary? Yeah, and I think if I'd seen it uh, 10 years ago, I'd have been even <laughs> more inspired. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Partway through, I was wondering, oh, is this really just going to put people off? But then at the end, you sort of bring it together, and actually the music's really uplifting at the end as well. So, Do you definitely. think the radio advert is inspiring as well? Yeah, I think if you hear it, it gives you enough of a taste. Yeah. Uh, but I think the film is particularly inspiring. Yeah. Um... Could you see this product in the real world? Yes, definitely. I could, and I'll promote it in the real world, I think, <laughs> to students who are interested. And how would you improve in any of it? Yeah, so I think with the radio play, I think you could perhaps put, um, oh, there's certain phrases you hear in the theatre all the time, um, you know, uh, beginners or at the radio, yeah, things like yeah. that, perhaps some more phrases um, that ties in that. The, the lighting and the sound and the tech and brings it all together. Yeah. Um, with an applause, I don't know, is that cheesy? Um, <laughs> perhaps that, but other than that, I think your post is great and I think the film is fab. Good. Okay. That's all the questions. <laughs>